I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm here to talk about the uh, CW90 and the CW90X over and under check weighers. Uh, we have both units here. Uh, we have the CW90X and the CW90. The CW90X uh, features a piezo keypad, uh, which is a, a keypad that has uh, no moving parts. It is uh, designed to withstand uh, knife cuts. You could uh, actually stab the zero button on this unit and uh, it would not stop functioning and it would not ingress water. The CW90X is IP69K rated. The CW90 has a membrane style keypad and if you are uh, looking at the front here, the differences, you can see that the CW90 has one through nine and an enter button on the keypad. Uh, this unit is IP66 rated. The uh, Types of uh, applications that these units could be used in um, are, uh, are varied. Um, um, many you're thinking of something that would be like a wash down, a real uh, rough environment like that, rugged environment, uh, probably uh, you know meat or seafood, any kind of a food processing or manufacturing, um, a quality control area um, because of um, you know clean room. It's uh, it'd be perfect for a clean room environment or uh, any, any kind of a manufacturing facility. Well, one thing that the uh, two units have in common is the, the uh, breather vent. Uh, the back of each unit there is a breather vent installed that um, allows the pressure inside the indicator case and um, the outside of the case to be equalized. One, one of the options for the uh, CW90 or the 90X is uh, wireless. Uh, on this particular CW90X here, the wireless option is installed. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the large cord grip in the middle, uh, that's, uh, you see a little bit of the antenna sticking out. Um, that is a really clean, uh, really clean looking insulation for a wireless installation. You're still able to rotate the indicator back and forth uh, in its column without any obstruction uh, with a little bit of antenna sticking out. So uh, that's a real a real nice looking wireless option. I'll uh, talk a little bit about the, um, the uh, bases themselves and uh, in particular the load cells. The, um, the CW90X uses a um, medically sealed stainless steel load cell. Um, of course that's IP69K rated. The CW90 uses an aluminum style load cell that is environmentally sealed and that is IP66 rated as a unit. The, uh, another, another feature on the bases is the, the, the feet themselves. Um, there are six feet on the unit. There's one in each corner of the base and then two at the back of the column. Um, the, the rubber that's around the feet actually extends up, up the threads um, of the foot itself. So these units are NSF approved, you know, uh, food grade, uh, clean room type environment. Uh, so what happens there, the reason that's important is when you've installed this, uh, this unit in your environment and you've got it where you want it and uh, you've got it leveled and uh, you're going to take those jam nuts on the feet and tighten them up, uh, when you do that, there is still no exposed threads. Further, you know, the, the open design of the base itself, uh, you know, in a wash down environment, everything just washes right through. It's uh, all open in the bottom. Uh, there are uh, five overload stops on the unit. Uh, one in each corner and then one in the middle on the bottom of the cell. And um, the column itself is um, designed in a way that everything washes off. Uh, it, it's all angled, you know, it's all angled design. Um, it's, actually, um, it's actually installed with four large bolts here. There's two bolts at the back and two underneath. Uh, you know, very rigid, plus the two feet at the back of the column. So uh, real sturdy and real rigid and a thick gauge. It's a standard 12 inch height, uh, but that could be customized. Um, these, these units have four modes of operation. The, uh, the uh, deep default mode that it's shipped in is the range mode. Um, the range mode would involve the operator uh, setting an over and under value, and then everything in between those values would be acceptable. Uh, there is a target weight mode uh, where the operator is uh, setting a target and uh, he's uh, looking to get within a window of that target with the over and under values. The 
target percent mode is uh, really the same thing as the uh, target weight mode, except that the window uh, deals with percentages around the target. And then there's a negative check weighing mode. Um, typically, a uh, product is, is placed on uh, a check weigher to uh, check the weight. Uh, in the negative check weighing mode, uh, the, the product is already on the scale, and you're removing product to, to, get, to a, get to a target. The, um, the truly exciting thing about uh, uh, both these check weighers is uh, that they can be connected to our Revolution software. Um, you can store your print formats. You can have customizable print formats and store them in the unit. Um, this, this gives you the flexibility to work with any, any kind of printer, uh, any barcode label printer, any ticket printer, any tape printer. Um, you can uh, actually store the format up to 300 characters uh, in, in each print format. Um, another thing, you can also uh, change the streamed output uh, with that software. So if they were streaming information to a PC, uh, for example, you could uh, change what's being sent out of the unit uh, with that Revolution software. Uh, on the fly. Um, uh, another um, thing that you can do with the unit, uh, with the software and without, is uh, they have the ability to store up to 50 IDs. So uh, uh, what I mean by that is you could, you could key in these IDs through you know, using the Revolution software, key them in there and send them to the check wires, or uh, you could do it through the front panel. You could key them in that way. Um, the, the IDs uh, have information associated with them. Um, you could have um, a tear weight associated with an ID. You could have, uh, there's a couple of description lines associated with an ID. There's the target itself and then the over and under value and um, also the unit of measure. So uh, for example if you uh, use unit ID 1, um, so you bring up that that product, uh, maybe that one weighs in pounds and uh, then when you would move and the operator would move to ID2, uh, maybe that one weighs in kg or uh, ounce or pound ounce. Um, that can be just changed on the fly that way. Um, again, really, really flexible. Um, what, what these units do w when they print is they buffer that information. So w what that really does for you is, is when you're using a check wire, uh, you're looking for a fast response, uh, you know, a stable reading quickly. and um, if, if you're printing, you're doing a lot of printing too, um, you, you don't want to tie up the processor doing that. So by buffering it, you don't lose any of that information uh, that you're trying to print, and the response from the check wear is uh, instantaneous. The uh, types of uh, applications that these units could be used in um, are, uh, are varied. Um, um, many you're thinking of something that would be like a wash down, a real uh, rough environment like that, rugged environment. Uh, probably uh, you know, meat or seafood, any kind of a food processing or manufacturing. Um, a quality control area um, because of um, you know, clean room. It would uh, be perfect for a clean room environment or uh, any, any kind of a manufacturing facility.